I'm going to do something different for my audience this time. I'm g going to summarize and critique a biography of Harry Houdini. The particular biography that I'm looking at is found in a literary magazine that I've subscribed to called the Missouri Review and I have a copy of it right here and this particular issue was summer 2013 and my the reference is pages 100 to 120 and the article is called Straight Magic Houdini and the Art of Illusion written by Spear Morgan and Kristen Somerville this article which I call a biography of Harry Houdini um, I think is very interesting to people who um, studied magic or practiced it and, and enjoyed it. When I was a youngster in elementary school around eight years old my Aunt Edith gave me a magic set and I learned how to do card tricks and various illusions that I perform for kids in elementary school and later on when I was in middle school just for fun on the side so you know I thought it would be fun to learn about the greatest magician of all time Harry Houdini and so I'm presenting this biography um, in the story Spear Morgan and Kristen Somerville give you a lot of concise and accurate facts uh, their story is well written and has a lot of content and well researched and um, some of the drawbacks are that the material is a little bit dated and it's difficult to verify if it's an anecdotal story or an actual event that happens but anyway I want to go on to the story now in the story they start out with a um, picture of the man himself and this is a picture of Harry Houdini and um, he was a Jewish immigrant named Eric Weiss who was born 1874 in Budapest Hungary and died 1924 his father named Mayor Samuel Weiss was a Jewish rabbi who um, moved the family to Appleton Wisconsin in 1878 when um, his son was three years old. They lived in Wisconsin for a number of years before moving to New York and his son Eric only had a sixth grade education but was self-taught in reading and writing. By the time he was 16 years old without um, having a high school diploma or anything, Eric Weiss received as a gift a memoir of Robert Houdin who was a famous French magician and illusionist from his father the rabbi and uh, from that point on Eric named himself Harry Houdin as a disciple of the French musician and started performing little side card tricks and illusions of his own in New York and um, he joined a theater group and a performance group and started performing on stage and Broadway acts and so on. Um, by the age of 17 he met this girl Bess Ratner who he married. She became his apprentice and magician's assistant and accompanied him in stage shows. By the age of 20 he was performing magic and illusions all throughout the United States besides New York City and he began touring um, he started out with card tricks and uh, various performance pieces and then from there he went on to this which I'm trying to show you um, it shows a picture of Harry and handcuffs and um, he ended up with these stage performances where he was handcuffed and chained and they would bring a police 
um, costumed person on stage and then he would escape from the handcuffs and straitjacket in front of the audience and show that that he it was like he was breaking out of prison. Another one of his illusions and escapes that became more dangerous was this uh, one right here where it's a um, Chinese water torture cell and um, Harry was handcuffed and tied up with a metal cable and so on and blindfolded and then he would have to escape from this water cell in front of an audience in a theater and then he became famous for that and that was like 1905 to 1910. Um, as the time went on to keep gaining money from the audience uh, Harry started performing stunts in movies and then he did other stunts like this one which I'm trying to show you where he's uh, handcuffed and his legs are in irons and he's suspended from an iron cable from a building like 50 feet up in the air and then he has to um, do an escape from that and uh, as time went on he performed more and more of these illusions and acts and they became increasingly uh, physical and dangerous um, by the time he got older into his 40s from about you know 1916 to 1924 um, Harry Houdini began performing the, these what he would call grand illusions and in one of the illusions the French actress Sarah Bernhard um, was watching on stage and I think this was about 1915 or so and um, or 1916 she watched Harry escape from handcuffs in a straitjacket and then asked him after uh, met him on the stage afterwards and asked if he could uh, miraculously cause her um, leg to reappear that had been amputated that she lost from an infection and a wound and when he said he couldn't do it then she was disappointed and and started sobbing and she thought oh but you can do the impossible so from that point um, into the early 1920s, Harry Houdini sort of had a, a, an awakening. So he started going to colleges and lecturing about illusions and magic. And he still occasionally performed on stage, but his new thing was this. It's called Spiritual Median. And Houdini would try to show that um, it was not possible to um, have uh, communicate with spirits from the dead and that at that time there were religious people that he wanted to prove were imposters who said they could talk with the dead and do seances and things like that. So near the end of his life that's what he became known for. Um, in 1924 when he reached 50 years old uh, one of this one of his people in his audience met him after a show who was a boxer punched him in the abdomen three times and then asked if uh, Harry could recover from that um, he didn't think anything of it at the time a few days later he performed another stage show and was handcuffed and so on felt some pain after the show he was taken to a hospital in uh, Minnesota uh, and they found that he had abdominal bleeding and a hemorrhage and then uh, a doctor diagnosed him with a ruptured appendix um, he was given antibiotics but a few days later he died at the age of 50 so it, it's sort of a sad story but it, it's informative and it shows what are the dangers of theater and trying to perform magic and illusions and I thought it was very fun at the same time and I hope that everybody else gets a little bit out of it as I did. Thanks.